Hello and welcome to Real to Real from St. Michael's Cathedral in Springfield. This week we focus on the priesthood and those who serve the family of God as fathers to his spiritual flock. This is an exciting weekend in the Diocese of Springfield as we welcome a new priest, Father Barrett Pease. The 29-year-old grew up in Montgomery and his story is inspiring to say the least. He went from lapsed Catholic to Catholic priest. Carolee McGrath attended this morning's ordination and has our story. With great anticipation and after years of preparation, study, and prayer, Deacon Barrent Pease became the diocese's newest priest. After mature deliberation, Barrent, our brother, is now to be ordained to the priesthood in the order of the presbyterate, so as to serve Christ, the teacher, priest, and shepherd, by whose ministry his body, that is the church, is built and grows into the people of God, a holy temple. Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky was the principal celebrant for the special mass at St. Michael's Cathedral called the Rite of Ordination. Surrounded by family and friends, Father Barrett expressed his fidelity to God and his church. So I ask you, do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock. I do. Father Barron's vocation story is one of reversion. Like many young people, he had drifted away from his Catholic upbringing. But what unfolded during an art class when he was 15, you could say, is nothing short of a miracle. I was a 15-year-old sophomore in high school searching for the truth, searching for, for truth in general, um, just because I felt there was an emptiness in my life and nothing would really fill it. Friends couldn't fill it. Fun activities couldn't fill it. Stuff couldn't fill it. He was also far from God, or so he thought. He says he was baptized Catholic, made his first communion, and then stopped going to church and became angry with God after the deaths of his two grandfathers. But one day, when he was sitting in art in a public high school, God showed up. One of my best friends was talking with a teacher's aide and they were discussing matters of religion, uh, matters of scripture and what my friend was learning in confirmation class. And what was being said, I knew there was, that that was the truth, um, that there were answers to questions I'd been seeking for a long time. That friend, who was no more than an acquaintance at the time, is Father Ryan Sliwa, the parochial vicar at St. Mary's in Westfield. The teacher offered Father Sliwa a Bible, but he had one. So I, I jumped in and said, can I have it? And then I went home that day and I just opened it up randomly. Um, and by God's wisdom, I opened it up to the beginning of the Gospel of John. And I read, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. All things were created through him and without him nothing was made that was made. And that was just like, you know, somebody turned the lights on in a room that was dark. The Lord be with you. A reading from that Holy one Gospel unlikely religious conversation in a public high school setting started him on a journey back to the church. But at 15, the priesthood wasn't the first thing that came to mind. I had a choice to make, and I was like, where do I go from here? Like, do I go to the Protestant church, which is like right down the road from me, or do I go back to the Roman Catholic church? And at that point, when I was pondering that, you know, God made me remember um, my grandfather on my mother's side. Um, who really tried to raise us as good Catholics. And when I was thinking about him, and I was thinking about how faith shaped his life, it just sort of like a whisper, like, you need to go back to confession. He says he was reluctant and thought the priest was going to let him have it. And what I encountered wasn't a judge. It wasn't somebody who was going to scold me uh, for what I had done wrong. You know, I encountered the loving father who embraces the prodigal son. And so now, Father Barrett Pease wants to bring that love, Christ's love, shown to him by a priest in a confessional, to others. As a priest, your life is configured to the person of Jesus Christ. But God has called you for a life of service to his church, um, to bring others to God, to bring others to him. So you become a bridge. One of five children, Father Pease grew up in Montgomery. He was born December 17, 1987, to David Pease and Roberta Barron in Springfield. His home parish is Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament in Westfield, where he was baptized. 
He graduated from Gateway Regional High School in 2006. The 29-year-old attended Holyoke Community College for two years before transferring to Our Lady of Providence College Seminary. He graduated in 2010 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in philosophy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As a transitional deacon, Father Pease was assigned to Mary Mother of Hope Parish in Springfield while he continued his studies at St. John's Seminary in Brighton. Father Matthew Alcombright, who was ordained in 2012, is the pastor of Mary Mother of Hope. He's totally ready. This is what he was chosen to do and, and how God chose him. And it's, and it's evident in how he, he acts and what he does and how he uh, prays and, and everything. It's his, he's 100% ready for it. As the rite continued, Father Pease lie prostrate on the altar as a sign of total submission to God as the congregation sang the Litany of Saints. St. Peter and St. Paul, St. Andrew. This was followed by the laying on of hands, the most solemn part of the ceremony. It's been a long journey from art class to the priesthood, but Father Barron says for anyone out there praying for someone to come back to the church, he says don't lose hope. Look up the story of St. Monica and her wayward son, who also became a saint, St. Augustine. I'm excited to be serving the people of God as an altar Christus, as another Christ, uh, to make present um, in time the Paschal mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ and to make his mercy present through the sacrament of reconciliation and the anointing of the sick. Father Barron says he'll now spend his ministry showing people that God is always near. Father Barron has been assigned to St. Thomas the Apostle Parish in West Springfield. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.